Bully. He's very, very feisty. Definitely gonna peck me. Okay, come on. Why you gotta be like that? Well, hello, Mr. Caramel. Are you coming to inspect the job to see if it's done right? If you're getting chickens, enjoy them, have fun with them, they become your pets. I can stand on the shoulders of giants, make myself a lion, to make the people defiant. That's the way the world came. Back with rebels and heretics, it's all the same. So you can keep on running your charade, but I keep on running and gunning my parade. It doesn't have to make you feel good, it just doesn't have to wreck everyone else. What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we've been working on the chicken coop and I thought I'd do a little update for winter. As you can see, I don't have any plastic on the outside and I want to get this all wrapped up and sealed up for winter. So the chickens can come outside. If it's a cooler day, maybe windy, they can come out and they can enjoy, well, like they are right now. It's not a very cold day today, so they are out and about. They're a little puffed up, so you can tell there's a slight breeze. So these particular chickens, brown hens here, don't do so good in the winter, I find. They like to have it a little bit warmer. And this girl here, she's our new addition. She's two different breeds put together, and she's feisty. She just will peck and get you. She does let you hold her, but look at her feathers. She's just beautiful. But... Yeah, the hens are doing good. The two brown ones are now over three years old and this one here, she's not even a year old. So we've brought her up as a little chick and she is doing great and they've accepted her and yeah. So anyways guys, I'm gonna show you the updates I'm gonna do. One, you can see these bins I've made. So I want to put my chicken food in here basically the scratch grain or the stuff just for helping lay eggs, I guess egg layer they call it. Basically this one I'm going to put corn in and this one I'm going to put the oyster shells in. So back here I actually have my storage. I open this up and you can see it's kind of just cluttered and messy and unorganized. So nice area to store the food, but I always find it really difficult to have my container here to put the food in and take everything out of the bags and put it in the container for the chickens because I mix scratch grain, oyster shells and corn and some sunflower seeds and diatomaceous earth which isn't in here right now. So those things I put in to have their complete diet make them you know just beautiful birds like they are right now. Their feathers everything about them right now is just absolutely perfect. They're beautiful hens and they're strong and healthy and doing great and it's winter so super happy that all the food and the things that I've added is working and they're doing great. So now I want to help them to just enjoy winter a little bit more. As you know I do have a heater in here. If you can scroll back to some of my other videos that I have, I have one other video on the chicken coop that has the heater in it. And I can show you the inside here if you haven't seen my videos. So yeah, we got the chicken food and then you can see that's my heater. So it isn't your typical light, I guess. You don't want a light in the chicken coop. You know, you have dust and shaving, stuff that can start on fire. This is basically just an infrared. So it's on its highest amount and you can see the girls are close to it. You can basically touch it and it's not even hot to touch, it's warm. So it does keep the chicken coop warm. I'd say it keeps it above freezing. On warmer days, obviously warmer as I do have my chicken coop completely insulated. Underneath all the walls, everything's sealed up. So it helps to keep them warm and keeps them all cozy in the winter. And I know a lot of people say you don't need heat, you just gotta keep them out of the wind, which is true. But for these girls, I like giving them a little bit more heat. They seem to enjoy a winter a little bit more. So in that case, guys, we got some work to do. I'm gonna get this poly up and around this outside, around here, down around here, and across there. And then I'm gonna get this organized. And then I'll show you everything once it's all done. So thanks for watching, guys. Keep watching to the end and we'll see this beautiful chicken coop looks all wrapped up 
for plastic and we'll see how the girls do this winter see if i can get them out more in the winter because they don't want to come out i don't blame them so let's uh, give them some protection and hopefully this helps <laughs> So that didn't take long, that went very well. I got the bins in and they're all full and everything's organized. Now, the thing I didn't like before about this is I'd have the bags in here and because they kind of bulge out, I couldn't shut the door and it was kind of a pain and it was hard to get all the food out when you kind of have one hand. So, and using your other hand to hold the container. So what I've done is I put a little door on here for this one because this, they get the most food you can see it's completely full. So this I can just slide up, pour into a container, basically like this. Pull that up, food will come in, pour that into their container, and then the rest I can scoop out of here like so. And you can see their oyster shells. I can scoop out of there and put it in their feed dish. And everything's all organized and completely sealed. So that's step one. Now step two is to get the poly on and then that's it. They're ready for winter and they're ready to go and they're happy birds. And you can tell they're loving the outdoors right now. Aren't you girls? <laughs>
So guys, I did get everything done that I wanted to, so I got the storage put in, and I got the poly put up, so the chickens are actually loving, loving this. It's actually the next day we got it set up. They've been out all day and enjoying it. It is kind of a milder day today. It's only probably about two, three degrees, so they usually come out on days like this, but it is protecting them, and it is a bit windy right now too, so the, it is helping them. So we'll give you a, a little show here. So everything's all neat and tidy. And again, my problem was I always put the bags in here for storage and I could never ever get at it like properly. I gotta pull stuff off and this door never shut because the bag, as the feed comes down, they kind of pushes out on the door. Anyways, this is a lot better setup. I got my main chicken feed in here, scratch green, all in here. So all I have to do is slide this lid up. Food will come out because that's my main one I put in and then I usually only put a few cups of my other food in here for them. The corn, oyster shells, diatomaceous earth, and I also give them black sunflower seeds as well for Omega. So those are all the things that I give them. Oyster shells are definitely a must. If you do have a chicken coop and you are new to the chickens, I definitely suggest getting yourself some oyster shells. It's gonna help with their digestion. I'll just show them to you if you don't know. Reach in here. That's all it is. So it basically looks like gravel at night while they're sleeping. That kind of helps grind down their food and helps them digest everything and it's a big key role in their digestion. So definitely that's one to get in their diet. It's helped my birds out significantly since I've gotten it and I wish I would have knew it sooner, but yeah. Anyways, we got it, they're enjoying it and yeah. So anyways, you guys, I'm not sure if everybody's seen this chicken coop, but I do have the egg box in here with the lid and no eggs again my birds just got done molting and yeah they're not laying eggs yet
There's Dolly. She's very, very feisty. She's definitely going to peck me. Okay, come on. Why you got to be like that? No, come on. She does usually let me let me pet her, but uh, she's got to give up a little bit of a fight. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You're beautiful. It's got Dolly, Rosie, and Dorothy back there. All hanging out. They're all looking good and all ready for winter. And I think uh, they got enough feathers and down feathers on them. Jeez. To, uh, yeah, keep them warm. But this will definitely help in the winter. I'm glad I've put it up because there's definitely no wind in here. Caramel. You crazy cat. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you good tips on helping you with your chickens. And if you're getting chickens, enjoy them, have fun with them. They become your pet. They always give you such nice gifts. And even if they're not giving you gifts because they are going through their molting, it's still fun to come out and be with them and let them out in days. Let them out on the lawn, watch them run around and do their thing. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're all doing well. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If not, that's okay too. But thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one. See ya. Hey, what are you doing up there?